Agnieszka, uh, how do you summarize the tie uh, today? The what? Yes, the tie. Oh, um, well, I think I was playing very well, much better than yesterday, so um, I knew that it was going to be a very hard, tough match against Shahar, so um, I just was very focused from the beginning, and I really played good, so um, I think, you know, singles and that was a very good match, so that's why, you know, two sets. Agnieszka, you were injured in the in the postseason, and you were questionable for the Australian Open and here. Can you tell us a bit how was the recovery so quick and how you you were able to play so well also in Australian Open and here? Yes, um, I had surgery uh, around three months ago, and uh, from the beginning um, they told me that I'm gonna play around March. So. Um, I was just hoping that you know I'm gonna play a bit earlier, so um, I was just doing everything what I could to to play. Um, actually, to start season in the January. Um, actually, I was in, still on crutches in December, so um, and I'm running since Christmas, so it was very quick recovery. But um, I, I just went to Australia, that you know, with no pressure. You know, I had nothing to lose. I had very tough matches, and I really played well. So um, I think it was just a very good result and. Actually, um, my sister is supposed to play here, but she's not that great with her back, so I just find out that I'm playing Fed Cup um, Sunday, so um, i supposed to... Saturday. So. <laughs> it was actually Sunday in Australia. Okay, that's true. So, um, For me it was Saturday. I'm supposed to, uh, you know, I relax a little bit after those uh, tough matches in Australia, because, you know, uh, it's still very, my foot is still very fresh from the surgery, but... Um, it's good so far, so um, I'm looking forward for the next one. How do you like your stay in Elab? Um, well, yesterday it seems like uh, you are uh, the most disappointing team of this group because you lost to Bulgaria, to Bulgaria and now you are, you are coming to the last game of this group while all the pressure is on you because you are the only team that uh, uh, depends on yourself. If you win, you qualify. If you lose, you are not qualifying. Uh, do you feel a uh, kind of pressure or do you feel good for recovering for the loss? Uh, uh, to be honest, I mean, um, maybe let's not talk about the pressure because uh, actually um, I'm going to the court very often when it's uh, left one. So I'm just, you know, doing my best, you know, to help the team. And um, of course, you know, um, I have more pressure than the others and I'm the top player, I'm the first one. But, you know, you just never know. Sometimes you just, you know, I can also lose, but, you know, just not really think about it. How do you like your stay in Israel in Eilat, particularly? Uh, so, so far, so good. So, um, I just um, maybe can tell on the match. You know, I think the crowd was um, not very fair play, so I have to say that. So, maybe next time they can also remember that... Um, it's, they shouldn't scream after the first set, the first serve, or uh, you know, like screaming when it's uh, double pot or something. I think you know the people should know that. Claudia, do you share uh, the same uh, opinion about the crowd as Agnesia does? Um, yes, because it was very tough to play when uh, you were serving. I mean, missing first serve, and then someone was just clapping between two serves. So it's always a little bit, uh, you know, distracting you. But um, of course, I understand that we play in Israel and everyone is so excited and uh, wants the team to win. So um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just the game. So, um, but they cannot forget that uh, we also came here to fight, and they should um, maybe not support us, but be quiet when someone is just missing or play net. It's different in Poland? It is different. <laughs> it is different. Definitely. Uh, about the chances uh, to qualify, uh, <laughs> what can you say about it? Well, we have so a chance to, you know, to go up, so we're just going to try our best tomorrow. I think it's very important match tomorrow, so... Um, you know, we have a big chance, so we'll see. Everything is open and every match now is very important. Today the match was like the key to go farther. So we won this match, so now we have a chance to go for the next one and uh, win the group. So we just uh, 
looking forward to play tomorrow. Watch it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.